Hey friends, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. Friends, in today's video we are going to discuss that how we can highlight active cell in Excel. I think almost everybody who works on Excel knows that whenever we are working on congested and huge data when there are a lot of number of rows and a lot of number of columns, it is quite annoying for us to keep concentrating on our active cell, right? Because by default in Excel, the active cell is not so much prominent. So we have to keep concentrating that where is our active cell. I think it is better for us to spare a few seconds and do such setting in Excel that our active cell becomes prominent or highlighted, right? So in today's tutorial, we are going to discuss this same issue that spending a few seconds how we can do such setting in Excel that our active cell becomes prominent or highlighted. So let's start our tutorial. First of all, what we need to do, we need to write a small VBA code containing only three to four words. If you are not familiar with VBA code, you don't need to worry. If you are able to understand simple English, I'm sure you will be able to understand this VBA code also. So to write VBA code, first thing we need here, we need a developer tab. If you don't have a developer tab, you don't need to worry because by default, we don't, we don't have a developer tab. To add developer tab, simply we need to go to file tab. In file tab, we need to go to options. In options, we need to go to customize ribbon. In customize ribbon, you will see here under main tabs, you will see here developer tab. If you have a developer tab, we uncheck this box. You simply need to check this box of developer tab. Then you need to go for OK. And you will see that you have a developer tab. Now to write VBA code, we need to go to developer tab. In developer tab, we will go to visual basics. In visual basic, you need to make sure that what is name of your active workbook. We have a name, highlight active cell in Excel. This is name of our workbook and this is name of our sheet, sheet one. So in visual basic, what we will do, we will make sure that our workbook name is highlight active cell. Then sheet name is sheet one. You can see sheet one. We will just double click here. Then we will just from this arrow, we will select worksheet and then down here we will write VBA code. What we will write VBA code simply, we will write range, open parenthesis, quotation mark, we can select here first cell A1, quotation mark, close parenthesis, equal sign, range A1 is equal to active cell dot address. So we have been written our VBA code simply range A1 equal to active cell dot address. Now what we will do, we will simply go for save. It will give us notification we need to go for no and then we will save this workbook. Maybe I will change name and we need to save this workbook as Excel macro enabled workbook. Then we will go for save. This is the only PV code that we need to write. So we have been written this PV code. We have been saved our workbook as macro enabled workbook so simply we will close it and you will notice that in cell a1 you have active cell number for example i select cell e1 you will see that in cell a1 you have cell number e1 now what we need to do next we simply need to select all cells from here corner we need to go to home tab we need to go to conditional formatting new rule and now go down use a formula to determine which cells to formate and here we will write formula equal to address open parenthesis row function open we will use here cell a1 close parenthesis then again comma then column column function open parenthesis a1 close parenthesis close parenthesis this is actually we have been written address function in address function row a1 comma column a1 close parenthesis close parenthesis of this uh, function address equal sign and we simply need to select the cell a1 now we need to format cell whatever we want formatting we will simply format here we will simply select here let's say i select maybe this green color i want to highlight active cell in green color font maybe i want bold and then i will go for ok i will go for ok and you will notice that now our active cell is highlighted in green color with font bold what you can do, you can simply select this row and you can hide this row. Friends, I will provide link in description 
to download this workbook so you can practice by yourself. Friends, that's all for today. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel Microsoft Office Tutorials. Don't forget to press bell icon button. Also, don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye bye.